we are good. So I'm going to start the Caribbean Corner webinar today. Um, I'm delighted to announce that we've got Carolyn, Adele and Arlene. I'm going to let them all introduce themselves. Adele, you're on the screen at the moment. So tell us who you are, where you're from and what your prize is today, please. Uh, sure. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Adele. Um, my family own and operate the, the Calabash Luxury Boutique Resort here in Grenada. And our prize today is three nights complimentary half board during the low season here in Grenada. So that's uh, for up until October this year and then from May to October next year as well. Oh, super duper. Excellent. Um, and Carolyn. Hi, good morning, good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Carolyn Trebetskoy. My husband and I and our family own two resorts in St. Lucia, Anse Chastanay and Jade Mountain. I see in the chat box many familiar names looking um, at me, so that's great. Uh, hi to everyone. Um, our price this morning uh, today is a two night stay at Anshastane combined with a two night stay at Jade Mountain, so four nights all together on all inclusive basis. Good luck Super. to all of you here on the on the on the webinar. Thank you. Perfect. Um, and Arlene. Good morning. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Arlene Redhead. I'm the sales manager for the Radisson Grenada Beach Resort in Grenada. And my price today will be a three nights complimentary bed and breakfast for two persons at the Radisson Grenada. And we'll give it a one year expiration. So one year from today, you will have that price you can um, utilize during your stay at the hotel. Wow, amazing. Thank you very much. Okay, so you've got some amazing prizes to win today. So what have you got to do? You need to listen. Um, we're going to start off with um, Adele, who's going to take us to her amazing hotel in Grenada. Um, I was hoping for Renee to pop on and say hello, but she's really busy um, and she wasn't able to get on. But Adele, um, over to you. Um, transport us to Grenada. I certainly do my best. Okie dokes, I'm just oh, sharing my screen. Is that all visible for everybody? All good, yeah. Great. Um, so as I introed myself already, my, um, I'll just do it again. It's because part of my whole spiel. Uh, my name is Adele. And my family own and run uh, the Calabash Luxury Boutique Hotel in Grenada. We are a Relais and Chateau property and also we are virtual so as well. So just for any of those who doesn't know where Grenada is, we are just in the very south of the Caribbean, um, uh, circled down here in pink. Uh, and the good thing about this positioning down here is that we are largely outside of the hurricane belt, making Grenada a great year round destination. So our airlift is returning. So I am so sorry. I just, I, when I put this presentation together, I did it thinking it was mostly the UK. So I'll just mention the US as well. So our British Airways flights resume on the 21st of July and they are Wednesday and Saturday flights from London Gatwick and Virgin Atlantic resume on the 16th of July on Mondays and Thursdays. We do also have daily, daily airlift from um, JetBlue from JFK and uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays American Airlines from Miami. So getting to Grenada is relatively easy. I know the, the hot question at the moment is uh, entry and how do you get into uh, to Grenada? What are the rules? So um, they're, they're pretty easy and they're very safe protocols at the moment because Grenada does, hasn't had any COVID cases at all um, since about, uh, I think it was the last COVID case was April. So quite a, quite a few months now. Um, uh, so it's a very, very safe destination and all of our staff here at, Ca at Calabash are 100% uh, fully vaccinated. So um, we do require a PCR test three days before arrival. And then you do have to complete a um, travel authorization form to come into Grenada. And the fee for that is $150. Uh, and that includes your test on arrival. So you will be tested on arrival again, PCR test at the airport. Then you come to the hotel uh, and you during this, the, while you await your results, which will be a maximum of 48 hours. And during this time, you can use all facilities of the hotel. So it feels like a very, norm, a very normal holiday. And then within that 48 hours, you are released and then you're free to, um, to explore Grenada. So we are ready for you. We reopened at the end of May um, and we have had uh, fantastic guests coming to the hotel and it's getting busier and busier uh, by the day. So we're very excited to, to be opening, to be open and operating again. Um, the hotel itself is 
30 suites set within eight acres of beachfront land. So we've got a lot of space for everybody. Social distancing has just always been a normal thing that we've done. We've two, got two great open air restaurants. And then one of the unique features I'm going to be telling you about is, um, is how we serve breakfast. We serve it in, in suite, which is a very nice way to start the day. So this is um, a map of the uh, photo you just saw before. So the, just to show you how the, how the property is laid out. All the suites are in a semicircle shape um, facing out towards the beach and the main facilities of the hotel are down here. Up on the um, hillside here, we have three, uh, three villas. So our suites have all recently been upgraded. Um, they're very, they're large and contemporary Caribbean in feeling. So they're from um, 900 square foot to 1,200 square foot. All the bathrooms have been refreshed. So it's, it, it feels, they feel very clean and modern. And some of them have got their own private pools as well. So our villas um, up on the hillside of the uh, property have got those great views overlooking the bay. Um, they've got their own private pools as well. Uh, they're very large, they're 10,000 square feet, five bedrooms, um, and they do come with their own um, housekeeper. And then you can add on uh, chefs and butlers uh, onto that as well. So they're a great escape for families. Food and beverage is what really brought um, brought us to uh, Relais and Chateau. We've always really focused on it. It's been very an important part of, of Calabash and now more than more than more than ever. So the day starts with a unique breakfast, as I mentioned um, earlier. So we serve breakfast in suite, um, but we also serve it on the beach. So two really um, great experiences here at um, to start your day when you're at Calabash. Our beach club is open for lunch and uh, breakfast and lunch. So it's a, um, a very casual dining experience. And this is where our guests spend most of our day, uh, most of the days, and it's very popular lo locally as well. And then Rhodes Restaurant is our flagship restaurant, our fine dining uh, restaurant. It's open air, there's that lovely vine overhead and you've got the flames on the outside. So it's a really nice, um, really nice dining experience. In terms of facilities at the hotel, of course, where everybody comes to the Caribbean for the beach and we're sat on this lovely, very calm white sand beach. We've got a pool that overlooks the property as well with these um, sunken lounges, uh, which are really nice. Uh, we have got a spa um, uh, where we will use LMS products. We've got a couple of tennis courts as well. Uh, we do offer yoga, complimentary yoga twice a week uh, at a yoga pavilion. And then we do put together really great, unique experiences for, for our guests. So like a beach picnic at night or um, private dinner on the jetty. Those are the kinds of things that uh, we uh, put together for our guests. You can come to Calabash and have these great experiences. I always talk about Grenada as part of my presentations because I just feel like it's such um, an untapped and fantastic destination. And I just want to share my passion for the destination with you. Uh, it's very, very safe, COVID safe, but also safe, safe. <laughs> and to, you, you, when you're in Grenada, it's, 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 uh, it's it, you, you feel very calm and tranquil all the time. We have, uh, because we've got beach, fantastic beaches and the rainforest, there's a lot to do on the land, under the sea and on the sea as well. So as I, I just said that I uh, mentioned our, our beaches are, are really fantastic um, uh, here in Grenada, lots of white sand beaches and super clear water. And then we've got the rainforest. So you've got lots of, you know, trekking, hiking um, um, and, you know, waterfalls, crater lakes, exploring through the, the rainforest and open back um, jeeps. Uh, we've got monkeys as well. So there's a lot to do. Um, you can get into the history and culture of Grenada. We are <coughs> um, a producer, a big producer of um, fine fla flavored organic cocoa, as well as nutmeg. Nutmeg is our black gold. It's our big thing. <laughs> Spices are a big thing. Grenada is the spice. I love spice. So you can go to see the estates and see the whole process of chocolate making from the tree to the bean to all the way to the bar. Sailing and diving is fantastic in Grenada as well. Um, I always recommend day, uh, day sailing trips around Grenada or a little bit further for a couple of days up to the Grenadine Islands as well, which are nearby. So that's always a cool thing to do. In terms of getting in touch with us, this is Raquel. She is our reservations manager and she's basically, she's mainly the person you'll be in contact with. She's fantastic. Uh, just the other day we had a travel agency that she's one of the best reservations agents that they've been in contact with in the world. Um, and I think that she is as well. So she's the one who will look after all, all your bookings and then we'll, and she's also based at the property. So she'll see you, um, your guests all the way through. So that's it for me. Uh, thank you so much for, for listening. And if you have any questions, I'm, I'm here for you.
Thank you very much, Adele. Wow, looks amazing. Um, so how can we arrange that I win the trip then? Well, Sarah, I think we're going to win it. <laughs> Super, thank you very much. Um, oh, any questions you. you've got, um, please put them in the Q&A and Adele will answer them. So we're now going to um, move over to Carolyn and we've got a special guest with us as well. Um, he's just sorting his camera out at the moment. Um, Carolyn, I'm going to hand over to you and if you want to introduce your VIP. Excellent. So good morning. And um, we have also on the line here our general manager from Shade Mountain Live. But what we'll do is I'll take you through a little bit of presentation and then we'll have, well, Andreas, if you're ready, do you want to just give them a little, a little, no, let me go sure. first. Let, no, no, I go first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so let me um, just start my show quickly and um, basically, um, first of all, get you a little bit in the mood. So we are in the southwest corner of St. Lucia near the town of Soufre. And uh, we own two resorts there, Anne Chastanet and Chate Mountain. And um, because we are in a 600 acre area with two beaches, it's really the best to first get a, um, a, 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 a feeling of it by, by watching um, a drone video. So enjoy that little video. Um, Andreas, if you don't mind turning your camera off for the time being, and then I'll call you back on when, when we're ready for you. So just to repeat, we are in a 600 acre um, area, which stretches over two valleys and giving us the advantage of two beaches. We are the only resort in St. Lucia with a private helipad. So when you land at Hibanora International Airport, you have a choice of land taxi, for 60 minutes um, or to take the helicopter, which takes six minutes. Um, I should say that um, we have quite a, a number of US flights at this time uh, that all, have all come back. We reopened in July last year. It's going very strong occupancy wise uh, from the US, but of course we are delighted that uh, we will also have more British clients and Canadian clients hopefully also soon in the future again. The two beaches are connected with a little road, so you can walk from one beach to the next. And here are just some snapshots of our uh, two beaches. This is on Chastanay Beach, right below the property. And this is um, Ansmamin Beach that uh, you can walk to on that little roadway. We are going to first take a look at Anne Chastanay. So just to explain, there's two resorts, they're marketed separately, but they are directly adjoining. So on Chastanay, I call it the mothership, but then from when you stay at Jade Mountain, which is the sister property, you also have privileges at Aunt Chastanay and can just simply walk down from Aunt Chastanay, from Jade Mountain to Aunt Chastanay beaches and the restaurants there as well. So on top of the property is Jade and directly below is Aunt Chastanay. We've owned on Chastanay since the um, um, 
late, uh, late six, uh, 60s and early 70s. And basically, uh, there are 49 rooms there, um, 37 of which are on a hillside and 12 are at beach level. Um, we have, of course, um, you know, re refurbished and redecorated and, and really restructured these rooms um, over all this time. These are the, the price leading rooms, the superior rooms, together with the standard rooms, which are very similar to the superior rooms. And you can see here, they're very colorful. There's original art in all of our rooms, and these superior rooms have also beautiful views of the surrounding areas, like the pitons. You can also see that the the bathrooms have been um, uh, recently renovated, really in great shape. Um, the next category up are the Hillside Deluxe rooms. Um, these are um, at various levels on the hillside. Some have an entirely open wall and some have these louvers instead of walls. I should mention that the rooms at Al Chastre on the hillside are not air conditioned, but when you look at the louvers here, you could almost uh, feel the, the natural breeze coming through. So these rooms are naturally cooled by the trade winds. The top category are our premium rooms. These are um, on the top of the uh, Anshastane property and therefore have the most significant, beautiful views of our Piton Mountains. And here in this case, I show you an open wall rooms. And here I want to also mention our amazing art collection. All of our rooms have original art from, from both local and internationally renowned artists. And uh, so sometimes I just want to give our travel advisors uh, an art tour rather than just a room tour. At beach level, we have 12 rooms. Um, these are deluxe beachside rooms. They are not deluxe beachfront rooms. They are facing a tropical garden, but they are very near the beach. And because they're not on the, um, on the hillside where you have the natural breezes, these rooms are actually air conditioned. Then we have a number of one of a kind suites here, for example, is our Piton pool suite um, with a beautiful 16 foot by eight foot pool. And this suite can be combined with an interconnecting second room. Whilst Anshastane is really well known also as a honeymoon resort and, and mostly caters to couples, I must say that we also have a very healthy family segment, especially with children that are, I would say, 10 years and older because there is a lot of facilities these children can enjoy. Uh, you will see them in a, in a little while. Um, another one of a kind suite is our beach house. This is a um, freestanding cottage directly on Anshastane Beach, which is actually quite rare in St. Lucia. Uh, most accommodations are set back from the beach. So this has like virtually a fan club of its own and it's a beautiful cottage with one bedroom. Uh, but your own garden and you step right off on the beach. This is an air conditioned one of a kind suite, uh, one bedroom, but big enough to put um, two children in there if you want. Our, our staff is known to celebrate our Creole culture. And uh, so are uh, the restaurants. We have a, a great number of choices for our guests. We have um, various restaurants uh, on the hillside. You have a choice of our seafood inspired restaurant. Um, then we have an entirely vegan restaurant, which we have had for a number of years. It started out as a vegetarian restaurant, but has gone all vegan now. And um, really fantastic food. And um, in addition, on the beach level, you can, of course, have private beach dining experiences, or we also have two additional dining choices at beach level, Apsara, which is our East Indian Solution Fusion restaurant, and the Beach Grill, which serves simple grilled fare. On the second beach of Anse Mamin, we have our jungle grill, um, open for the daytime, serving the, the world's best burger, I'm being told, but I'm one of these vegans, sorry to say. <laughs> In the valley behind the second beach is what I would call my favorite part of the property. There you have historical ruins from an old 18th century estate. And we have over 12 miles of hiking and biking trails in there. It's fantastic for bird watching. Our, we have guides that are trained uh, in bird watching. We have over 50 mountain bikes that you can rent from us. And uh, or you just walk through that plantation. It's wonderful. I do that very often. We also have our own boats and we do our own jazzy sunset cruise once a week uh, where we serve champagne at sunset. And we have our own sailboat which you can take out for half day, full day or sunset cruises together with the crew. Excellent non-motorized uh, non water sports available. And 
the coral reefs of St. Lucia stored right offshore. So this is beautiful, pristine water where you have fantastic snorkeling available to you. Not only can you go snorkeling, we also have our own party five store scuba diving operation. This is a big draw at Anshastane. I would say about 35% of our clients come specifically for the diving. The diving in St. Lucia is excellent. We have very healthy coral still, especially our Elkhorn and brain coral. And uh, we have a profusion of fish life. We are not necessarily known for big fish, but we have fantastic macro fish life. The seahorses you see right offshore and lots of turtles. If you are into diving and also preservation, uh, we do something called eat them to beat them. This is to battle the uh, very invasive lionfish. You can learn how to catch them. This is actually our general manager, uh, Andreas, whom you meet in a while underwater catching his dinner, so to say. <laughs> and then we, uh, our chef prepares a, a five course tasting menu just based on lionfish with wine pairing, which is like one of the special events that we offer once a week. We have two yoga instructors at Anne and of course, we offer our, a, a great excursion program to all of the sightseeing attractions of the island, including the mud bath. And uh, since COVID, we have um, also re-envisioned re our excursions and mostly um, they are now available just for couples like on private basis. There's a lot of choices available. That was on Shastane for you. Now we're gonna take a quick look at Jade Mountain. Jade Mountain uh, was designed and built by my husband, Nick. He's an architect by profession. Um, he originally is from Canada, but we, of course, the whole family are St. Lucian Nationals at this stage after so many years. And uh, Jade Mountain is really a celebration of the amazing, um, I would say, beauty of St. Lucia. And it also is quite a um, stunning architectural structure. It looks more like an artwork than um, in a sculpture rather than a hotel structure in the traditional sense. When you arrive, you cross over your own personal bridge to get to the entrance door of your suite. We call the suite sanctuaries. And then the door, door opens and you see your, your suite, your sanctuary for the first time. And so here, this is the best picture for me to explain what Jade Mountain really is all about. There is 29 suites in total and 24 have private pools. These are not plunge pools. These pools are up to 900 square feet in size. We can teach you how to swim or even scuba dive in the privacy of your own room. <laughs> um, the rooms are also famous for the open wall concept. So whether you are in bed or on the couch or in your pool or even in the bathroom, you're always one in one with the amazing view of our pitons. This is an adults only property. So only um, um, adults stay there, no children. And uh, mostly you have couples here but we also have the occasional single. We even came up with a package called a single moon because I think some people were locked up with the wrong partner for too long in COVID and they're ready to celebrate themselves alone and in style. Um, for this presentation, I want to just mention there are different categories of sanctuaries at Shade Mountain. All you need to really remember, the higher the rate, usually the bigger the pool, the bigger the suite, but even the smallest sanctuary, which is the star category, uh, you have pools that are up to 450 square feet in size and the suites themselves are 1500 square feet. The pool tile colors differ in every sanctuary, all of them individually designed. So every sanctuary is different. Some of our guests demand or want to have different sanctuaries. Each time they come, we have a very large repeat guest segment. This is a moon sanctuary here. This is one of the sun sanctuaries where the pools go up to 2000 square feet in size and um, so 900 square feet in size, sorry. And the suite itself, it's 2000 square feet in size. And again, when my husband said, we're gonna have a red pool, I, th I thought he was crazy, but that's now one of my favorite sanctuaries, this China red color. And uh, even the bus tops are built for the few. And of course there are couples tops. The top category at Shade Mountain are the, um, the Galaxy Sanctuaries, there are three of them. What makes them the top category? Not only uh, do they have the few of the pitons, they are on the highest west corner of the structure and therefore also have the most amazing ocean and sunset views, as you can see here. The pools have all been heated, so you can stay in them as long as you like. 
And this is a pre-COVID picture where we stand close together and you can see our lovely smile. And now we are a little further apart and we wear masks, still we wear masks, but I want to say that nothing has changed in terms of service experience for the guest. Um, we have always had a very individual approach to checking guests in at the sanctuary. So, um, and our guests, our staff certainly smile with their eyes just as much they always smiled with their lips. Um, Shade Mountain guests have their own restaurant at Shade Mountain, the Shade Mountain Club. That's a very small restaurant really built specifically to cater to Shade Mountain guests. And remember, they also have privileges at Anshastane, so the guests can also dine at Anshastane if they like. On top of Shade Mountain is the Celestial Terrace. Andreas will speak to you a little bit uh, from there a little later. And again, just to remind you, there's two beaches where we can offer the most amazing beach dining experiences. Now, when it comes to food, all of our restaurants get served by our organic farm, Emerald. That's 20 minutes away from the property. Our guests can visit the farm. And here we do cooking classes, for example, or you can uh, do our own tree to board chocolate tour because we have, our, we have over 2000 cocoa trees. And guess what? We make our own chocolate back at the resort in our own chocolate laboratory. So you, you visit the farm, then you come back to the, to the resort. We teach you how to make chocolate. And if you don't like to eat chocolate, you can drink our um, chocolate infused, sorry, there's a little, uh, our chocolate infused beer, or we even use chocolate in the, in the spa. So you can have a chocolate body wrap or a chocolate facial mask. You can't escape the chocolate in other words. There's also yoga offered on complimentary basis at Shade Mountain. There's both resorts have beautiful small boutique spas. We offer both a classical program and Ayurvedic um, treatments. And then we have an Adele also, by the way, Kalabash, we all have a great sustainability story. What we do with our water, both drinking and, and wastewater is great. And on top of it, just to mention, if you want to know how to get to St. Lucia, um, stlucia.org is the St. Lucia tourist board site right now. You still need a PCR test to, uh, within five days of arrival. Uh, most countries, as you know, require you to have a test to travel back. Uh, some countries need an antigen test, others need a, a PCR test. We offer both on properties. We have nurses on properties, so we can take the sample swap in the privacy of your room. I keep joking that I would rather sell our guests um, a spa treatment rather than a nasal swab. But uh, anyway, that's what it is. And uh, we still offer these swaps free of charge at this time and until ending of September. Um, we have, um, we are, um, obviously we have a lot of different sustainability certifications. We are part of different consortia from Amex, Fine Hotels to Virtuoso Signature Ensemble. Uh, Ensemble, by the way, is both Chate Mountain and Chastane. And now I want to stop screen sharing and see if we can get Andreas on the line from Chate Mountain. Andreas, are you there? Yes, here he is. Yes, I am here. Good afternoon. So my name is Andreas Negele. I'm the general manager of Anschesney and Chate Mountain. Welcome to my office. So I'm here on the celestial terrace, which is the rooftop terrace of Chate Mountain. And I'm just going to switch my camera quickly so I can show you the amazing views from up here. So this is the Celestial Terrace, the views from the top of Cape Mountain. And we can't wait to share these amazing views again with our British guests. And of course, we're looking forward to welcoming them back. So I'm doing a very quick 360 degree view for you from the terrace. And you can see just over there, that's where the helipad is. It's only about a two minute shuttle ride away from the resort. So the transport is very, very quick. Yeah, and these are the amazing view of the pitons. Fantastic. I'm so glad you could come and join us. So our attendees know, I, I uh, you know, it, it does look in reality just like on our pictures. <laughs> Absolutely. Excellent. Well, I'm so glad you could join us. Thank you, Andreas. Most welcome. Thank you, everybody. Bye. So that's it for me. Thank you very much. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Bye. Amazing. Well, Thank you, Carolyn. Wow. You've just got a lot of people very envious and very much wishing to be there. Um, OK. Um, Thank you, Arlene. Um, I've muted you earlier, so if you can just unmute yourself. 
Here we go. Okay, so we're now going back to Grenada. I'm going to hand over to Arlene. Thank you, Sarah. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Arlene Redhead, and I'm the sales manager at the Radisson Grenada Beach Resorts. I've been with the property for 15 plus years, and I do enjoy working with the property and with yourselves. Um, Radisson Grenada Beach Resort, I do not have a screen share today. I'll just go through all my um, wordings and all my explanation, which I think um, would get me through faster than having to go through the slides. Uh, Radisson Grenada Beach Resort, we are located on Grandin's Beach. I'm sure most of you would have heard of the famous Grandin's Beach. We are on 20 acres of land, a total of 229 bedrooms and suites. We have a total of four different room categories. Um, meal plans offered, we have bed and breakfast, half board or the popular all-inclusive. Currently, till the end of the year, December 31st, 2021, we are offering with all of our rates, uh, complimentary breakfast. So if you book room only, you get the breakfast complimentary. And that so far has been a great seller um, as we see the bookings are coming through. During the COVID period, we are one of the resorts in Grenada that never closed our doors. So we continued our operation, even if it was, was on a smaller scale, um, kept a mo most of, some of our staff employed during that um, slow period. And I'm pleased to say that on staff right now, everyone is vaccinated. That's one of the prerequisites for continuing employment with the resort. Um, being a branded hotel with Radisson, Radisson have introduced a um, certified company, Health and Safety, that all of their results must be certified. We have taken the certification and have passed it twice so far in 2020 and in 2021 with a company known as SGS. So we are certified internationally by SGS, which is our international certification health and safety company. Being SGS certified, we also have to implement and have implemented a 20 step safety protocol. Just to mention a few, the use of the PPE, temperature check, social distancing, uh, increased cleaning and hygiene sanitation, increased uh, sanitizing stations throughout the property. Um, there are some protocols that the employee has to follow, for example, in certain departments like housekeeping, front office, restaurant, kitchen maintenance, they're not allowed to leave the property with their uniforms or common property with their uniforms from home. They have to all get changed here before their shift and at the end of their shift. We also have quite a number of meeting rooms and we do have a separate 10 step safety protocols for our meeting and events because we do weddings, conferences, product launches, you name it. Once it's an event, we have the capacity. That area also continues to follow the rest of the 20 step protocol and also the food safety and how we handle the food um, during this COVID period. We do have two lovely swimming pools on the property. The most popular one is the Oasis swimming pool. It's 300 feet long. It has a swimmer bar, which is the Oasis bar. And we also have two man-made waterfalls in the Oasis swimming pool and also two jacuzzi. So the guests can enjoy sitting in the sun and having a cocktail or a beverage and being in the Oasis pool. On property, we have a gym. The guests can access 24 seven. All they need is just their room key to access the gym and the gym is equipped with quite a number of modern um, equipments. Dive shop, Native Scuba is our dive shop on property and they do party certify, uh, scuba diving or to do day trips. They have two lovely boats so they can take you around the island or on the Western coast, which is most popular for the diving, the wreckage and also the underwater sculpture. Tennis court on property, we do have two. Unfortunately, it's only daytime tennis at the moment. There's no floodlights. 
we do weddings. We have a lovely wedding gazebo. And from the wedding gazebo, you have the sea or the Granite Beach in your backdrop. We also do beach weddings, but on a smaller scale because the Granite Beach is also a, a public beach. It's not a private beach. Wedding packages are available directly to the hotel. Um, however, the two operators can, of course, request SIM, although it's not part of their contractual arrangement, but that can be provided. We do not close, we open year round all seasons, and we do offer, as I said earlier, varied meal plans. Uh, one of our things at the Radisson is children friendly. Um, so we do take children year round, as the same goes, if you like the adults, you have to like their children just the same. We do not have a kids club, like an organized program, but we do have our games and other activities that the kids can also take part in. Uh, island tours, we have a tour desk at the hotel where you can arrange such tours for the island or half day or whatever tours, whether it's aqua land, we have that arrangement at the front desk, at the front lobby. And we do also have a business center. So if someone is traveling, does not have their boarding passes booked or just want to you know, check their email to see what's happening on the other side, that facility is complimentary in our front lobby. Um, just to also mention, the hotel is located seven minutes from the international airport. So you can access taxis to get to the hotel or if you have a DMC that does the transfer, once the DMC is certified by the tourist board, they can also get to the hotel by that means. Uh, St. George's, which is our capital in Grenada, seven to 10 minutes drive either with a taxi or a local bus. The hotel is ideally located on the main bus route to and from St. George's which is very inexpensive, uh, US $1 per person one way. And on either side of the hotel is the bus stops. So you just have to, like if you're going to St. George's, stand on the right, on the left, sorry. And when you're coming back, the bus stop is on the opposite side. So you just have to cross and you right back into the hotel. Um, the main hospital is in St. George's. So we are quite pretty near to that in case there is any emergencies. And also where we are located on Grandin's Beach, it's a nice build up area. So you have other restaurants and bar along the beach courses and on the outside, all in walking distance, or maybe a two minutes, three minutes taxi drive. Supermarkets are located right outside of hotels. So if persons wanna get, you know, small snacks or toiletries, whatever you may have forgotten, or you just need to, you know, do a little browsing around, there is also the malls next to the hotel, all within like five minutes walking. Local banks, there's all the local banks is all located right outside the hotel on that strip, which we commonly call Wall Street. So if you wanna go change monies, although we have the facilities at the front desk, you can also get access to that on foot or if you wanna take a taxi, it's only like literally two minutes because they're all around the hotel. So we are ideally located, as I said earlier, in Grandons, on Grandons Beach, uh, popular Grandons Beach. And most people do use the beach as a form of their morning and evening exercise. Some of our guests do likewise. So you can walk and explore the beach. There's other hotels along the beach, restaurants. And of course, there is a vendor's market where we have local vendors who would sell local arts and crafts to tourists and that is right adjacent the hotel so you can also venture there and you know support the local uh, vendors while at the resort so that's my little presentation um, there is a lot of videos um, sorry a lot of photos on the website um, again there is a protocol for entering Grenada um, we have to follow and we have been following persons, as Adele mentioned, quite a lot of detail about it, so I would not bore you with repeating the same protocol. Um, there was just one thing I think was omitted. If you are fully vaccinated, then your quarantine time will be two days or 48 hours. But if you are not fully vaccinated or not vaccinated at all, then your quarantine time will then be a maximum of seven nights. So just to let persons know, there is a website that you can visit 
and you can pay in advance. There's another website for your PCR test, which is done at the hotel. So if anyone wants those information, it should be available on the tourist side, but if you wanna reach out to me, I have no problem in helping you provide that information. Thank you, Arlene. You're welcome. Thank you. No, that was great. I'm sure we're all going to be going onto the website now to take a look at the hotel. Um, beautiful <laughs> beach on Grand Anne. So yeah, amazing. Um, we do have a couple of questions that have come in at the moment. Um, Carolyn, um, are you able to email your slides and or promotional flyers um, across to Kelly? Um, I'll get Kelly to email you and then are you able to provide any sort of extra information if people need it? Yeah, absolutely. I've also put in the chat um, two website links that are called chidmartin.com slash agent info and unjustly.com agent info, where you have like virtually everything you would want to have from the property available in on one link. Menus, prices, presentations, images, it's all there. Ah, oh, wow. Okay. So that's in the chat option that you've put that. Yeah. Okay, super. Um, I'll go have a look at that soon. Um, brilliant. Um, is it a long walk to the beach from Jade Mountain? Um, so basically, it's virtually from Jade Mountain, from the highest level, an easy five minute stroll downhill to get to the beach. So my experience is that most visit, most guests just simply stroll down to the beach and then some of them opt to take the resort shuttle to go back up um, to Jade Mountain. Some also, because they eat too much, they say, use it as their daily exercise. It's, it's a good hike if you go back up. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, we've got a question from Vash. Um, is hopefully coming to St. Lucia in November. Um, if he doesn't win, do you do staff rates? <laughs> we, we actually have um, really good um, travel advisor rates. The, the one challenge we have this year, and it's quite interesting, um, I mean, travel, came back with with a vengeance here i mean you you be, we are basically fully committed almost till the end of the year it's a great problem to have um it's confusing people because when you look at the website you can't even see availability anymore but we have a few pockets you have to call us but it's a bit hard right now to get in so 2022 we have a lot more opportunities okay super um Hannah's asked, um, do you have problems with mosquitoes in the open-sided rooms or the ones with aloofs? So you have to really, and um, whether you have open-walled rooms or not, you have to really always pay attention to insect control. And so I would have to say we have really uh, perfected this art of ensuring that there's no standing water. Mosquitoes don't just come up like that. They need a certain environment to 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 flourish basically. And so we try to avoid uh, giving them any type of place where they could flourish. And so I think that you will find that uh, there aren't any issues. Plus keep in mind that um, the open wall rooms are on the top of the property where you have a good natural breeze. And again, this is not usually an environment that mosquitoes like. So no. I would say it's, it's, it's really um, great. You won't have mosquitoes. However, because it is an open wall environment, one of the remember my husband was in charge of building Jade Mountain, it's his baby, Anshasne is mine. Uh, the, uh, the one design element that I offered up and contributed to Jade Mountain is that we had insect netting around the beds. And for me, it was more psychological that when you are in an open wall room and you sleep, I think it's kind of nice to have this, this netting. Even our air conditioned beach deluxe room, I kept the netting on because I think it's a nice romantic touch. Yeah, no, exactly. Super. Um... Okay. Um, Arlene, we've got a question for you. Um, do clients accumulate or get discounts with their Red Radisson membership? Um, not discounts, but you can continue accumulating points on your stay nights. Um, the only thing, if you are a platinum member, then your breakfast is going to be complimentary as part of being a uh, Radisson Rewards uh, platinum member. Also, if you are a goal, you automatically get a complimentary room upgrade. And you also have some benefits like we cannot be sold out and not accommodate you within 72 hours of your booking. So that's some of the benefits, but not discount per se. There are some properties that take part in the food and beverage discount 
program where you get 15%, but we are not a participant in the discount program on the food and beverage. But the other perks you do get, like a complimentary welcome gift in your room, a complimentary bottle of water on arrivals, those are the other things that we partake in. Super. Um, and our, oh, Adele, um, Celine, you've asked a question for Adele, but Adele's had to, she's had to leave. She had another call to get onto. So if you can just email her when I do the follow up, um, you'll be able to ask that question for her. So, OK, so just to reconfirm, every single agent that's been on this webinar today is going to be entered into the spin to win that I do to get to, to win one of the prizes. Now, um, we're going to go to chat, everybody. And if you can just go to... Um, panelists and attendees on the drop down so that you can write to us all. Um, so we're now going to confirm who's been listening. Um, and there is a benefit for this because the first person with the correct answer, so you've got to be really, really fast and, you know, fastest finger first, um, you will get 10 entries into the spin to win. So it was a big benefit. So um, Arlene, you're on at the moment. Just remind us what your prize is. So my price will be a uh, three night stay at the Radisson on bed and breakfast for two persons complimentary perfect and what would your question be please my question is which beach in grenada is the radisson grenada beach resort located on i meant okay. it the first time <laughs> <laughs> so carol was certainly the fastest finger there grand dance beach is the correct answer so yeah grand dance do you accept grand dance or does it have to be grand dance beach um, grand dance is fine. Okay. Yeah, I already said it's a beach, so it's obvious it's grand dance beach. <laughs> okay, yeah. lovely. Okay, perfect. So um the question that um Adele had asked, so I'm going to ask it for you, and I, I know the answer as well. So this is for Adele from um Calabash Luxury Boutique. Um, so her question was, how many sweets? Okay, do we have? <laughs> Joe, very, very fast. Wow. Okay, so yeah, of course, the answer is 30 sweets. Um, okay, so last but not least, um, we've got Carolyn. Um, Carolyn, remind us what your prize is. So the prize here is a combined uh, four nights day, two nights at Ashastne, two nights at Chit Mountain on all inclusive basis for two. Um, four nights um, and in order to win should I ask my question ask your question but don't forget it's just for 10 additional entries um the price the winner will be announced tomorrow so oh, I see yeah. I see okay um so my question is what is the name of our scuba operation um no no yay <laughs> Now we have some. Yeah, it's correct. So Scuba St. Lucia. That's correct. Very well done. <laughs> <laughs> so, Patty, well done. You were the first person <laughs> with the correct answer. Um, so uh, ladies, thank you. Um, all of the presentations today have been amazing. You can see by the feedback that we've been getting in chat and um, the questions that have been coming through. So everybody's thoroughly enjoyed um, the virtual trips and the learning about them. And of course, don't forget for everybody from the UK now, as of the 19th of July, um, you don't have to quarantine as long as you're double vaccinated when you come yay. home. So <laughs> yay! <laughs> <laughs> which is amazing um great great news um so yeah a massive massive thank you um to all of you and thank you for your amazing prizes we do appreciate it and to all of the travel agents thank you so much um just don't forget who has been supporting you um and who's been coming on the webinars training you helping you so send the bookings their way it's the best way to repay but any questions reach out to them i'll send a follow-up later today thank you everybody and see you soon bye thank Bye. Coming to St. Lucia. <laughs> Anytime. <Yeah. laughs> and I love Grenada. <laughs> yeah, come along. <laughs> I want to come and see you both. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, ladies. Bye. Bye.